We're at the start of something. Something big. You think? Orel tried to kill the dog. Hey, it true the Don slipped Carla the bump? Not you? Yeah. Wasn't pretty. Still blood in his veins, huh? Lesson, Carlos. I want guards and lookouts round the clock. Here, the warehouse, and all our business. How about people on the after pay? Forget about that. We stick to our own till this is over. I'll remember who picked the wrong side. Our guy's in place. Good. We're finally going after him. Soon. But first, we have to soften him up. Morel's got the cops, the politicians, and even some judges in his pocket. We can't afford to bite them all off, so we need to scare them into abandoning Morella's sinking ship. We bump off the right idiot. The rest are going to realize sticking with Morello ain't too good for their health. First in line for the pine box is this asshole, Galati. The counselor's still seeing red over his dead kid, so he's never going to turn on Morello. Christ, that guy's been giving us fits since 32. Let me take care of him, boss. Why do you think you're here? Then he's got it all figured out. The counselor is celebrating his birthday with a big shindig on a steamboat. He's pulling out all the stops, boots, broads, fireworks. He's even giving a speech to the press. What kind of security? Just did normal detail, a few guys with Roscoe's. None of the other fellas are gonna do dick to protect that piece of shit. Okay, I'll talk my way into the party, put two on his head. Slow down, Junior. Galati's corrupt, but he ain't stupid. His crew be searching everyone who comes on board, so you can't be carried. So, what? Uh, throw him overboard, see if he can swim. Don't go getting creative on me. You're still going to shoot him, for fuck's sake. When you get on deck, you make for the head. We got a janitor on the take, and he's planted a revolver in the bathroom. And then you just cool your heels. Mingle. Try not to look like a hatchet man until Galati makes his appearance. You wait for that bastard to start his speech, and only then do you put one between his eyes. We want it done in public to get people talking. Sure. But you got a plan for getting back to shore? Sam and Paul are down the docks working on that. You meet up with him there, and I'll fill you in on the rest of the details. Okay. The lot is done, boss. You won't have to worry about him after tonight. I don't doubt it, Tommy. Buona fortuna, Tom. But Vivini told me I gotta stay around the bar for my own sister's safety. Attention, folks, attention. We'll get you all aboard, but we will need to see tickets. You'll also be searched for safety. Thank you for your patience. Hot dogs, get your hot dogs here. Taste as good as they smell. The finest family in the city. No doubt in my mind. Who's done more? And all this after the loss of his son. He's gonna clear up this city, you know. And he can throw Terrence! You got an invite too? Oh, did you hear there's gonna be fireworks? You don't look like a guy with an invite. I got friends. Just not these kind of friends. Well, I'll tell you what I got. Sailor back there who works on the steamer. His head hit something heavy. But his dandy white suit's fine. Thanks. I'll go find him.
I know you'd get a real job someday. So remember, play it cool. When you've gone some ways over the water, find the gun. The janitor stashed it in the bathroom. Sure. Then get up on the roof. Wait for Galati's speech and pop him when he's done. And how do I get away? Polly's borrowed a speedboat. After the speech, there's fireworks. We'll come soon as we've seen them. You better be there on time. Don't worry. It'll go smooth like eggs and coffee. Looking good, Tom. If the outfit don't get messed up, keep it. Suits ya. You the new guy? Christ, you took your time. You think he's gonna pull this off? You sure as shit gonna kill Galati. Getting off that boat? Well, he's gonna need a guardian angel. You don't need no fucking angel. He's got us looking out for him. Almost done? Yeah. Was gonna go clean the bathrooms. Heard some guests complaining. You're volunteering to clean toilets? <laughs> Whatever. You got a rag there. Check every deck. Don't I know you from someplace? Nah, don't think so. I swear I know you. Were you with the Union, maybe? Sorry, buddy. I'm from out of town. Listen, shipmate. Go someplace else. What? You think you're something you're not? Seen the janitor any place? Nah, but, uh... If I had to put money on it, drunk in the engine room. Ah, you took your time. Tom, right? I hid the gun in the john in the stern. Mid deck. Where's stern? Next floor up. Right above us. Eh, keys on the table there. You ever say my name again, and you'll be found floating outside. Get that? Uh, yeah, I, I get that. What are you gonna do about it? Well, I'm gonna give you a beat, for starters. You got some trouble <coughs> now. Can't run! Hey! Jesus! Jesus! Uh-uh! I'm making you pay!
Hey, John. Hope you're enjoying yourself. As long as the bar stays open, counselor. <laughs> Good man. Have a note for me, huh? Good to see you. Thanks for coming. Thank you. Hey, welcome to my little party, right? <laughs> so, as you all know, it has been a tough time. Three years ago, my dear son Billy left us. An innocent pawn in a deadly gang war. A victim of the deceased, that is, organized crime. Since that day, I have lived only to eradicate this disease. Today is a day for celebration for my 50th birthday and for a brighter future for lost heaven. The criminals will be driven out of town. They'll drown like rats in the water. Thank you. Thank you, everyone. And now for the fireworks, huh? Could be worse, huh? We could be peeling you off the front of the train. He just got a good break, is all. Sergio Morella's always been lucky. He was born with more brains than his brother, that's for sure. We'll get him, boss. No, you tore off this job. You're broken mirrors on this one. We'll let the guy who killed Galati take a crack. Tommy here's got all the politicians scared. Maybe he can put Sergio in the ground. What do I need to know about this guy? Besides, he's got a lucky rabbit's foot up his ass. Sergio is Morello's top earner. He controls the unions, which means he controls the docks and attacks everything that's imported into the city. We kill him, and a big part of Morello's income will be wiped out. Any ideas on how to get to him? I don't want to end up in a tree like these two. 
You're going to scatter his ashes. It's a custom job. Attach it to the starter under his car. He'll be a human torch as soon as he turns the key. It's safe to carry. Yes, yeah, don't drop it. Shake it. Smoke near it. Yeah, it's safe. Boom! <laughs> <laughs> Get it done, Tommy. For all our guys Morales killed. And for all the money he's taken out of our pockets. I'll take care of it, boss. There's no way they'd come here. I used to run with his crew. If Morello wakes up one morning and wants to come heavy... Yeah, that's gotta be Sergio's car. How am I gonna get through to it? Going somewhere? Supper. Hey, you want to go dancing this weekend? Maybe you drop the kid off at your pop's place. Yeah, I'm still here. Oh, Christ. Hey! Stop! No, <laughs> oh, no, no. Taran, you okay? Yeah, this is a car bomb. Things went south. We could draw about it later. Right now, we gotta get that bastard. Let's go! What the hell? We got a message from Mr. Salieri. No! Kill these clowns! Get 
get back to the car. We gotta catch up before that idiot gets himself killed. Go get it! It's doing kill that motherfucker. Get every Find guy we coming. got down here now. Found him. He's coming this way. You think you're some kind of big shot, huh? Started. Firebomb going up.
Fuck, fuck, what happened? This some kind of fucking train? Just winged me, asshole! You think you're the guy who's gonna kill me? <laughs> what did I tell you? No one. Lucky bastard. Wait, no! Station.